Hello everybody, and welcome back to another video. So, um, today I am going to be talking about um, the finale of Secret Invasion in regards to specifically the theories and speculation on how long Rhodey um, has been missing and replaced with the scroll impersonating him, that being Raba, obviously, um, as we saw in the show. Now, before I do get into this, um, it's because we're talking about Secret Invasion. Um, I didn't really feel like doing a video review of it because there's just nothing really cr super crazy went down in it. It was just like some some kind of some interesting, shocking things went down in this season finale, I'll admit, but nothing too crazy. And not to mention, this season finale was not the best. So, yep, because it wasn't the best, um, my uh, my whole loving of Secret Invasion has kind of dwindled down a bit, and it's not a masterpiece show. It's a really good show, don't get me wrong, but, well, that's why I think in my opinion, but yeah, this was not a good way to end this show. The season finale had some issues. And uh, I know a lot of people have been complaining so many things. Uh, my issues aren't what a lot of people may seem. Um, they may think my issues are with this finale, but they have to do with another certain thing. Um, and there are some uh, there are some moments I was just like, yeah, I don't really know. Like it was just kind of a little. Eh. I didn't know what to think about some certain scenes. So um, yeah, um, yeah, Secret Invasion is now. Not uh, the greatest Disney Plus show that Marvel's released after season after seeing this finale. So, yeah. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's just talk about um, these theories and speculations in regards to how long Brody has been a scroll. And um, there, are, I've been hearing that some people are saying that maybe he he may have been a scroll like during the events of Captain America: Civil War after he uh, he fell and he um, he injured himself. And after we see him in the hospital scene, and after he gets like discharged, the scrolls kidnapped him or whatever, and he got taken away. Like I don't know, it's weird what's going on, but uh, just all right. Let's get in this article and see what is uh, what exactly it says here. But I mean, before we do, I just want to say that you know what? Hey, back to the whole Rhodey thing. Maybe Rhodey could have been a scroll in like during the during the blip, during like during the Thanos snap. Um, he may have been, he may have gotten kidnapped. And uh, replaced with Raba impersonating him and all that stuff. So, I mean, hey, you never really know. Maybe that's what's kind of going on. You never really know. So, yeah, without wasting one time, though, let's get, let's get in this article already and see what exactly it says here. So, it says here on CBR.com that uh, the series finale of Secret Invasion just hinted that James Rhodey Rhodes, uh, Don, John, John, Don Cheadle, John, Don Cheadle, that plays as in the MCU, clearly, was replaced with a scroll double uh, during the events of Captain America Civil War. So that I so it's saying Captain America Civil War. Maybe he could have been replaced during the Thanos snap during the blip. So you never know. Maybe that could have been the case. In the sixth and final episode of the Disney Plus limited series, Talos's daughter Gaia um, frees the real Rhodey from stasis, who is seen wearing a hospital gown, uh, unlike the other humans who were held captive and, re and replaced by scrolls. Rhodey is unable to walk after being released from stasis under the new Skrullos, likely due to the spinal injury he sustained in Civil War. Marvel Studios' Kevin Feige, uh, Marvel Studios' president Kevin Feige, previously stated, previously stated that Secret Invasion viewers will come to understand exactly how long he's been a scroll. Well, if fans are to take at face uh, value what is being shown in the series finale, Secret Invasion strongly suggests that Rhodey was replaced by a scroll during Civil War, and that the Rhodey fans uh, saw in Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame, and Falcon and Winter Soldier was actually a scroll imposter. Clearly he was. In and... <sighs> okay, them doing this, I don't really have a problem with. It's just <sighs> the issue that I have when it comes to something like this, it's like now they suddenly do that like like okay they okay they kidnap him during the events of civil war then fast forward during the during the after the blip everyone comes back then they start their attack why didn't they start their attack 
like during like when they first kidnapped Brody, how come they waited that long? That's what I want to know. Why did they wait that long? If they were sick and tired of doing that, why couldn't they just attack then? Like if they were just sick and tired, hey, they're not going to give us a home yet. Fury isn't going to give us a home. So yeah, um, we're not happy. And so, and then just start an attack, start your war and let, let every, let, 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 let Nick Fury know that, Hey, you want, you want a home, let him know right now and let him know, Hey, we're not going to take this shit. So we're just going to let, we're just going to take earth as our own. Like if this was during the events of civil war or if Rhodey got taken during end game, or if before Falcon and Winter soldier and something after end game, Rhodey got abducted. How come they waited? Why did they wait? You could have just been like, yeah, uh, you know, hey, like, attack then. Don't just wait now to do it. Like, you, like, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how they could have just, like, why they didn't do this. Why Gravik and his, why Gravik didn't start the whole Squirrel Rebellion when Rhodey was kidnapped. How come they waited that long? to do this that's an issue that i do have with it because I, if i recall that's not really explained why they waited that long like <clears throat> like okay like gravic always kind of didn't like it but okay we're okay gravic says that yeah he's sick and tired of of trying to freaking like wait wait around for fury doing it because he thinks fury betrayed him so if you kidnap Rhodey, well how come you waited for so long when you for when Rhodey first got kidnapped, like if this was during Civil War Endgame, how come they waited that long then to, to do what they did in this show? Like, I don't get that, man. Uh, <clears throat> okay, okay, this is just talking about like, um, all right, this is just talking about some things going on here. Um, all right, so. Why did Marvel pick Rhodey to be a scroll? This is something I want to know, actually. Following the release of the fourth episode, Feige sat down with Marvel.com to discuss the Rhodey twist. He explained that the Disney that the Disney Plus limited series needed to, needed to have a character that would one not a, would not expect to be a scroll, and that Don was on board for this reveal of playing and revealing another side of Rhodey and revealing that yeah, Rhodey has been a scroll. He continued, "When we have amazing actors like Don that have been with us for so many years." We very much treat them as partners in the creative collaboration. It was very early days when we pitched this concept to Don, and he very much was into it and into being able to play with different sides of Brody that we haven't seen before. All right. All right, so this then is talking about Brody's next appearance in Armor Wars. This, I want, I think we're going to know the whole thing about Brody, of what, of what went down with him, how he got captured, um, when he got captured um and just what he does and doesn't know and if we're gonna find out if yeah like if he really was around during endgame or not because we're gonna know for certain if he was around during endgame with the whole freaking tony dying depending on how he reacts to hearing about tony stark dying like because if not that then we're gonna know that okay yeah he got kidnapped after Endgame and before Falcon the Winter Soldier, probably. So, all right, moving on in this other part of the article. Uh, the series finale of Secret Invasion unfortunately didn't spend much time with Rhodey after he was freed from stasis. However, Cheadle has also confirmed that the upcoming Armor Wars movie will directly continue Rhodey's Secret Invasion storyline. So, it will continue that storyline. So, we're going to get some more answers there. That's good to know. There's a part of that that kicks off what happens in Armor Wars. Originally announced as a Disney Plus series, Armor Wars was late, was later redeveloped as a theatrical film. The project will follow Rhodey as he confronts one of Tony Stark's greatest fears when Stark's tech falls into the wrong hands. The upcoming MCU entry will also likely delve into Rhodey learning about everything he has missed while in stasis. Yep, and we'll also know if he was around during the final battle in Endgame. And if he really was captured or not in civil war like we're gonna know if he was either captured it, like there's so many questions on like when on certain parts of the like phase phase three where it's like okay when did 
when did he get kidnapped and replaced with the scroll impersonating him? That's what I want to know. All right, so this is this is talking about something else. Um, all right, so yeah, these are my thoughts on this. I mean, hey, man, I was the, the season finale of this show was not the best. I think this is still a really good show in my opinion, but yeah, man, uh, this show though is not the best. It's not the greatest Marvel Disney Plus show to ever be released, which sucks because. I was really rooting for I was really rooting to like really like this show and to think and I was really rooting for this show to be absolutely incredible but yeah it wasn't it's not as good as I thought it was going to be it's still a really good show but it's just not a masterpiece which kind of kind of disappoints me a bit but hey man it is what it is um as for Rody though uh the the main reason I made this video talking about Rhodey. Hopefully that him be that the explanation on him being a scroll is done right. Because if it's not done right, then it's just like what? Because it's like okay, graphic wanting Rhodey captured and to be impersonated and for another scroll to impersonate him uh, in order to do what needed to be done. Okay, but like I said earlier in this video, if he was kidnapped during the events of Civil War or Endgame, why did they wait to do it? If he was definitely kidnapped during Civil War and he missed out throughout all of Infinity War, all of Endgame, then it's like, why would you ki why would you ki why would you wait to do what needed to be done after after the events of Captain America Civil War? This should have happened. Like, what? Like, it, it doesn't make sense on how, on why, if that's the case, they waited that long to do it. So, um, yeah, um, that's gonna, that's gonna be it for uh, this video, though. I just wanted to get the, get out that, get that out there and just say that I don't really have a big problem with that, but it's just them explaining it and Gravik's intention on it originally having Rhodey and, kidnapped and a, a scroll impersonating him like if they if they kidnapped him then like how come they waited so long because that's not really explained so yeah man um that's pretty much all i gotta say about this post comments down below though uh, let me guys think about this though um do you think that this is going to be handled well in armor wars when we with when, when it comes to discovering if what roadie finds out while he's been gone uh do you think it's going to be ex well explained on why Rhodey was kidnapped and why the scrolls waited that long because I don't think that was really explained. Um, do let me know. I am curious what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe. And if you guys know anyone that's a fan of a Marvel or a fan of a Don Cheadle, um, or Rhodey specifically, then you should send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also, I'm only over on Twitter and Vero. I will be putting the links to those in the description down below. So yeah, um, until then though, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye.